Right now, you need meta players. The kind of players that will improve your team and help you get more wins. And with the game being out for two weeks now, it's time to show you the best players in each position with all budgets covered. For cheap and fast, reliable FC24 coins, check out MMOEXP, the link is down below, and use the code MATHD to get 5% off all of your orders. So I've got three different meta teams to show you today. The first one will be cheap, the second one will be mid-tier, and the third one will be expensive. So three different budgets for you to use in Ultimate Team. We're going to use a goalkeeper who's around 5,000 coins on the market. Really, really amazing cheap keeper. Should be twice the price at least. It is going to be 85 Bono. Great card. Get him in your cheap team if you can. Now the right back position, we have a really amazing option for those of you watching who have that cheap budget for a cheap team. And it's going to be Jeremy Frimpong, 94 pace, is definitely the best cheap meta right back in this game right now, guys. Next up in the cheap meta team for each position in the game. And when I say cheap, I think we can all agree with the game being out for a few weeks now, we've hopefully all gained a few coins with foot champions and div rivals. So these to me are cheap players. Company's not cheap, neither is Rio Ferdinand. But do you know who is? Kim Min Jae. 80 pace, 85 defense, 84 physical. You absolutely have to get him, guys, in your cheap squad. Great card. And the Bundesliga has a lot of good options, so he can link a lot better now. Staying in the Bundesliga, though, I've used this guy a ton on my zero spent road to glory, guys. It's going to be 82 rated up on Meccano. Really impressed with this card. He is a delight to use at the heart of defense. Don't go for those players like Nacho Fernandez or John Stones. These two players are much better options. Now left back for the squad is a really cool choice here. It's actually going to be left back from Lee Gunn. And he's got everything. 80 dribbling, 89 pace. It's of course... Nuno Mendes, great option for you watching, guys, with that cheap team that you do need. Now, I did see a lot of comments on the last video asking, what about chemistry? This is a video dedicated to the best player in each specific position. So you guys will need to make it work in your team, but I'm giving you viable options here per position in the game. Mid might be a surprise here, but... As a cheap player goes, you know, maybe if you need a cheap player for objectives or squad battles. I really, really like this player at this spot because he's got 83 finishing, which is really good for a cheap winger. And it's actually going to be Gabriel Martinelli, 86 dribbling as well. Really, really good in game. And as a cheap player, you got to get him, man. Now, moving on to one of the cheapest players in this team, actually, and we're staying in the Premier League again. I've sung his praises since the game came out, guys. Joe Linton, all round just machine on this game. 88 physical is outrageous. Unbelievable in-game stats as well. He goes into my team. Now moving on to a more expensive option, but still cheap. We're going to go to the country of USA and we're actually going to use a player by the name of Crystal Dunn. Look at those stats. 87 pace. She's like 8,000 coins on the game right now. She's absolutely brilliant. Four star, four star. She can play CDM as well. I mean, look at the stats, guys. They do not lie. Some of the best stats actually at the start of this game with a gold card and she's 84 rated. She's crazy overpowered in this game. Moving on though, we're going to go to a really brilliant option here at right mid or right wing here, guys. For you, it's going to be Lauren James. She is seriously underrated in this game right now. 87 pace, five star skill moves is massive. 85 dribbling, great physical ability as well. She goes in the team though, right there. She's great, man. And like 2,000 coins. I know, I don't get how she's that cheap on the game, but she is. Now moving on, we're going to go to the Premier League again, which might not surprise you because the Premier League this year is great. We're actually going to go to a player that is fantastic for evolutions. Dan Juma could be a shout, better could be a shout. But there's a reason why this guy is in so many teams in division rivals right now. Even in like division four, he's still there being used. He's only 9,000 coins. His name is Darwin Nunes, guys. Unbelievably good in this game. Only thing I'll say about him, I feel like he's either unstoppable. He'll get five goals in the game, three games in a row. Or he might get one or two goals less in the next game he's still cracked though six foot two amazing pace he just glides past defenders and a really good cheap option now to complete this cheap meta team for you right now we have got to go to rachel kundananji i didn't realize she's actually got an inform which i didn't see until like today anyway kundananji there guys 91 pace ridiculous card four star five star she's cracked in this game man honestly for like six or seven thousand coins 
She is unreal. So they are the best meta cheat players right now. How about the next budget? Though? Next up is the mid-tier budget of today's meta video. And these are players who are probably at least like 20, 30k. So we're really going up in price here per card. Now in the goalkeeper position, I can tell you there are some keepers here to avoid. Enler is just not the one to choose. Oblak is disgracefully bad. He looks about four foot seven when you use him in game as well for some reason. Don't know why. Anyway, he is terrible. Do not use Oblak. Edison, very inconsistent. Avoid him, guys. Now I'm going to go to 87. Donnarumma, 90 diving. He's like six foot nine or something ridiculous. He's like six foot five. Still, huge goalkeeper. Controlled lengthy as well. And overall, just great, great card there with those stats. He's a real must have for this mid tier option. Moving on to right back, is I think one of the most versatile players in this game. And I'm still using him after like 100 games in AFC 24, guys. He's actually a right mid. You might have guessed it. It's going to be Marcos Lorente. The upgrade in terms of ability in game when I replace Molina as my road to glory right back was massive. Give him maybe like an engine camp style as well or anchor works well as well. Greatness this card, man. Absolute greatness. He is unreal, especially for this starting out, you know, with a new FIFA. This guy is a must have in your mid kind of team. Moving on though, we're going to go to the nation of Brazil. And I'm kind of stunned at how cheap this guy is. He's, you know, still a bit pricey for starting out in Ultimate Team right now. But for the mid-tier option, I really can't believe how cheap he is. It's Marquinhos. Great card. 89 defending, 80 physical. All round, really nice card as well. He's also got this gold playstyle plus there, which means he can defend with greater reach there and improve chances of retaining possession. So great at tackling, great to have that goal playstyle there. By the way, playstyles are so crucial in this game, guys. If you're not exploiting them, you need to. He is a real must-have as well, like Lorente. Next to him, though, is a surprise, and he is expensive for the rating. However, there's a reason why even pros are using him right now. There's a reason why he's in the high divisions, and his name is actually going to be Saliba. 84 defense, 82 physical, decent passing for centre-back, 82 pace as well. Really like him a lot. Six foot four as well, so he's amazing on corners. Moving on, though, to left-back is a player that I've been raving about all year, well, for the last month. And it's going to be Rolfo, mid-tier option here, guys, in terms of in-game right now. Great, great card on round. Four-star, five-star is outrageous. If she gets like an inform, I think she could break this game. She's that crazy good. Look at the stats as well. 91 strength right there. She hasn't even got five-star skill moves, and she's got the playstyle plus of Trickster. You know she's good. Now, the last mid spot, we're going to go to the nation of France, and it's going to be Kingsley Coman. Really like him a lot in game. You do need to give him a shooting like improvement there, definitely. However, with those dribbling stats, with the pace stats as well, he's really fun to use. Five star skill moves. There's a reason why he's on this video, man. Great, great card to use. I've used him a lot in rivals as well. He's been very fun. Next up, though, we have one of the most broken options to use right now in general. Again, we're going to stick with France here, guys. We're going to go with Gayoru there from PSG. Just an absolutely cracked card. Those stats are mind-boggling. High, high work rates, which I like a CDM. I would say she's better off as CDM, less so than a box-to-box -box sentiment as well. She's also got the physical plus play style, which increases fatigue recovery during half time. So anytime you see these goal play styles, guys, they are really important. She's great. And she goes into the team. Right center mid, but more of an attacking mid here. This guy is absolutely broken as well, like the last player, Gayoru. And five star skill moves on this guy. Incredible in real life, Musiala. I'm not seeing enough of you guys use his card right now. I mean, this is the one. Technical playstyle plus. Let me tell you something. That playstyle is, for me, the most overpowered one of all. Honestly, it's incredible. And all of his playstyles are customized there to his dribbling. So he's got 91 dribbling. Feels like 97, 98 in game with those play styles. Incredible card to use as a cam. And if if you want to, you know, play him off chemistry, I would actually advise him as striker. Give him the hawk chem style or dead eye or finisher. Get that finishing up like Coman. He's fun at striker, man. He really is. Six foot tall as well. Yeah, he's cracked. Now, right mid is, for me, one of my favorite cards of use in this position, this FC Ultimate Team. He can play right mid or right wing as well, so good versatility. And I know maybe you could have gone with Baltimore there, but I feel like this next card is even better. It's got to be Trinity Rodman. 
Wow, she is amazing. I believe she's like 35,000 coins on the market. Four star, four star. Great shooting stats as well for a winger. 94 sprint speed. Also, this one, quick step play style, is amazing to track back as she defends. So she's really good at getting those balls back as well. She goes into the team right there. I've still got her in the club. She's honestly amazing. She might be the best player I've tried, actually, in terms of this meta mid-tier squad. She's unreal. Now, we move on to, for me, I would say... My favorite position ultimate team. I think we can all agree we all love a good striker. First one though, I think I made a video on a card or maybe not, it might be soon. Alex Morgan is probably the most outrageous card you can get for the price of like 40K, maybe even cheaper right now. I know it's hard to link, but people forget even if you have zero chemistry on a player now in ultimate team, you don't lose any stats. So she's on one chemistry in this, you know, meta squad. And even that improves her card. So don't forget, guys, chemistry is not as important as previous Ultimate teams. She is incredible. In the box, she's genuinely like a cheap R9 Ronaldo. I'm not even kidding. She does not miss. Her finesse shots are absolutely ridiculous thanks to the finesse shot playstyle plus. R honestly, unbelievable. When I tell you she's like the cheap R9, I mean, look at the record, guys. 69 goals in 38 games with 37 assists. And most of those games are in rivals. Honestly, broken beyond belief. People are still not believing me when I'm saying these things. Please do. Unreal. Get her in your team. Now, the final player for the mid-tier option is a player that won't come as a surprise. I think he might be one of the most hated cards in this new ultimate team already. And it's going to be Kolo Moani. The reason why is because his pace is insane in this ultimate team. Six foot two as well. A lot like Nunes just glides past center backs like they're not even there. Honestly, phenomenal. 91 sprint speed, plus four there with the chem style and chemistry. Absolutely great. Good dribbling stats as well. And with R1 dribbling being as good as it is, he can be brilliant. Can also play as a right mid, so he makes it into the mid tier of these meta budget teams. Now let's go to the expensive meta players for you in Ultimate Team right now, my friends. In goal for the most expensive meta players, we're actually going to go to a surprising goalkeeper here, which I think a lot of you are going to use once you realize that pros are using this guy all around the world. He's amazing in game. And he's actually on the pricey side compared to other 87 rated uh, goalkeepers there. And for me, that shows that he's just better. Magnan is your guy. He is, for me, the best goalkeeper I've used in this game. Whenever I come up against him in foot champs or weekend league or rivals or even draft, the guy saves so many incredibly good goal scoring opportunities. Absolutely try and get him, my friends, in your team. Now, right back might not be a surprise. We're going to go for not Trent or an icon. We're actually going to go for a just phenomenal right back here who deserves all the praise he's getting. It's got to be Kyle Walker. He is absolutely devastating as a right back. You seriously need a right back, probably at least 86 to 88 pace, in my opinion. He's got 90, can do everything at right back. Superb player for your team. Now, right center back here is actually going to be a new late addition here. And there's a reason why. First reason, I tried him in weekend league. He was unstoppable as a center back. My goals conceded per game went straight down when I got him in the team. His name is going to be Lauren Blanc. Now, he's got a new SBC that is an absolutely monstrously must complete SBC. He is going to be in a lot of teams once people click that he's incredible at the heart of defense. He's a top five center back right now in the game, maybe top three. He is amazing. And he's a lot cheaper than someone like, you know, Lucio or potentially even, you know, some of the good players there. But yeah, Blanc, guys, is seriously a must have. I can't say that enough. He's incredible. So left center back, though, to go next to Lauren Blanc is going to be actually a concept player here who I've used a lot in, ra in draft and rivals on my main account. It's Virgil van Dijk. He's back to his best as FIFA, guys. Absolutely brilliant. And hopefully you can pack him and get him in your team. He is honestly outstanding. Now we go to the left back position here. And again, like Blanc, a bit of a new addition because a lot of us have just packed this player. But I'm actually going to go with a really interesting card that people are quite simply overlooking. It's this card right here. I've got her, I've got her alone on this account and on my RTG. I think I did pack her in the hero pack. She's wonderful in game. 
honestly insane. Such a well-rounded left back. She reminds me a bit of the uh, Captivia card from last FIFA, and he's way down in price now, but she, I think, is 110k. Really, really impressed with her card. Can't say that enough about her card. Now, left mid here is honestly just incredible in this game, guys. It's actually going to be... Um, where is he there? Left wing. He's a, He can play left mid, though. It's going to be Neymar. I mean... There's a reason why he's still very expensive, even though he's in a league that's a bit harder to link. It's because he's monstrous and just so overpowered with that wing play that is so broken right now. He gets past players with ease. His agility is balanced. Everything about his ball control, they're sensational. He's honestly just great. Definitely worth the price as well. If anything, he should be double the price he is. He's that good. Now, left centre mid is going to be another new special card. Quite a few new special cards here for you guys. It's um, going to be... Which one are we going to go with? I mean, I actually originally went with his inform. But now that he's got this card, I can't deny it. This Trailblazer Bellingham card is beyond broken. And especially with the playstyle plus their ball control, the guy is such a wonderful... Box-to-box -box player. I mean, if he had five-star weak foot or skill moves, he would honestly be one of the best players in the game. Still is one of the best players in the game. As a midfielder with those stats, you just can't beat him. Now, right centre mid is still going to be someone who I always recommend. It just can't be said enough how fantastic this card is. It's going to be Alexia Putella. She's better than De Bruyne. She's literally like... I mean, she's actually probably got... Better stats than Rui Tullet, looking at those stats. That is how good her card is. If you've tried her loan card, you know what I mean. She is absolutely amazing and one of the best overall players in this game. Definitely is. Now, right mid for the squad is actually going to be another new card. And I love having these meta videos, guys, with new additions to Ultimate Team. And again, like Blanc is an absolute must-do for the SBC section. And it's going to be... Rodrigo, I cannot for the life of me find where his card's gone, but I will find it. Where has he gone there? That should probably do it. So this card, guys, is quite literally just insane. And there's a reason why everyone is completing his card. He can also play as a striker with 91 finishing on those dribbling stats. He is going to be outstanding for your squad. Has minimal error when trapping the ball and is able tra to transition to dribbling much faster with greater control. He can do everything, man. I mean, this card is wonderful. In probably six months' time, we'll look back at this card and think, yeah, he might be the best SBC of the year. Absolutely phenomenal card, that. He's going to my Road to Glory team tonight, actually. Anyway, right striker for the best players in each position with all budgets covered today is going to be, for me... I think he is actually the best version of a gold card he's ever had. I know that's a big praise for me to say, but I'm telling you, when I've told you in the past that Messi's never felt like Messi until now, I am being deadly serious. This card is absolutely wonderful. I've played 140 games on my road to glory with this card, and he has scored like 180 goals, 120 assists or more. He is insane. You know why he's insane, guys? Because of this play style. This one right there, the technical plus play style, incredible. For me, he is absolutely just his best goal card ever. And yeah, I can't believe he's like, is he, I think he's 120, 140K? Crazy price for Messi. I'll quickly double check that actually to make sure I'm not wrong. But yeah, guys, definitely have a look at getting Messi in your team. He's 100, 110K. In terms of links, you can get, you know, a left back or right back from MLS Evolved. Yedlin could be a shout for that. Alba's quite good as, as left back to link to Messi as well. And yeah, he's very, very, very fun. Now, to complete the team for the most expensive players here is yet to get another new player. And it's going to be a just broken card that you might have already completed. He could be in your account already. It's going to be player of the month, Sun. To be honest, he's actually getting another card this Friday, apparently, which is a bit annoying for anyone who's completed this player of the month, SPC. However, this card is just amazing. Can do everything, gets down the wing real easily, great ball control stats there as well, good dribbling overall, finishing is sensational, last saw game, he's also got the finesse shot plus, which is one of the best play styles to have, so definitely get him done. Anyway, hopefully you guys really enjoyed this new meta player video, I really am loving this game right now, playing a ton of ultimate team, more than ever actually at the start of a new FIFA, so leave a like if you want to see more of these, you know, analysis videos, if you do want to see player reviews by the way, I'm definitely debating it when a new crazy card comes out, 
do let me know. Anyway, have a truly special day, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this new video and I'll see you on the next one.